Okay, got it. I bet you don't. <laughs> What's the over under? <laughs> Is he going to have us talking in the background? Wow, that music is super loud. Oh, now the bass sounds loud? terrible. How long does this go? Welcome, everybody, to That Checks Out with Damon and Ted. I'm Ted. That makes the other guy Damon. That's me. Coming to you from Audio High Podcasting Studio, proprietor Mac. That's him. That's him. Yeah, he's the other guy. He's the guy that goes, wait, what? Yeah. Well, if he ever is paying attention. <laughs> he only pays attention enough to say what. <clears throat> What's the one we did last recording where we, Priceless, that needs to be a drop on the board, I think. <laughs> yeah. We both said it. He lost his mind. We right. said that word at the same time. So that was pretty funny. We quoted a commercial from our youth at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Whoa. How talented are we? <laughs> wow. How was your week, sir? Um, non-eventful. Well, no. that was good. Mac, how was your week? Any uh, stories we need to prompt you for? <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll hey, let hey you next know time, guys, in 20 minutes from now, when you record your other episode, prompt me and I'll say something about it. Hey, Mac, how was your week? Oh, it was fine. Yeah, man, nothing. Nothing happened. Yeah. Well, I, I missed the Q. <laughs> the well, Q that you gave us. You missed the A, B, C, D, E, F, G all the way to Q. Yes, right. you did, buddy. You sure did. Is it anything happened this week, Mac? <laughs> anything, Mac? Um, yeah, you know, I really can't think of anything. I think it was a pretty boring week. All right, we'll talk to you in six minutes. All, all right. right. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, this is uh, January. It's the coldest, no coldest show. time of every There's year. There's no shows going on. Nothing. Yeah, nothing's going on. Right. Yeah. No stagehand? No. Jobs. <laughs> I don't know if I really wanted to say it, but I didn't. Um, you no, know, I, I think everybody's staying inside. It's been brutally cold here. Yeah. <clears throat> so I was there was a lot of comedy this this weekend. So if you guys missed that, which you did because you're listening to it after this weekend happened. Yeah. That's on you. Man, did you see all that comedy happened last shows. weekend? There were some good shows out there yeah. this weekend. Yeah. No, there that is going on, though. That and I, I, this is a big time for like movies and stuff, too, isn't it? Like where people, well, kind of the week of Christmas was. Yeah. Week Christmas, of New Year's. And then, uh, yeah. It's, it's weird. They'll put them up all the way to Christmas, but as soon as the new year starts, it's now push out the garbage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here's Will Ferrell yeah. in a in a in a war movie. You know, it's like it's like no, that's not that's not what he does. Yeah. We went yeah. to a movie on Christmas. I'd never done that before. Oh, oh well, we kind of. I heard mean, about I have because I worked there. But yeah, Ted went to many because of people like you. Yeah. So I'm just saying, I can't believe you guys are open. <laughs> yep, neither can I. Yeah, neither well, could the person serving me my popcorn. Oh, did yeah. you you tell me you didn't <laughs> say that to him? <laughs> Did I, did I not tell you guys the popcorn story? Well, you told us a popcorn okay. story. <laughs> no, but I you didn't said say they were out of larges, but you didn't say that to them, right? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can't. That's one thing. I used to hate that too when people would come in. Um, if, if you ever worked retail and you're like five minutes to close, you've already, like, nobody's been there all for the last hour and a half. Right. So you're all cleaned up. You're ready. You're like, holy cow, I'm not going to have to stay really after tonight. I'm going to be out of here. And then the, the door opens and you're like, oh no, don't come to my department. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, that was. And, uh, well, but the last time I worked retail, I mean, my Sundays were pretty much a pattern. Someone yeah. was there right when I, people were there right when I opened. There was one guy that was always there uh, to do something the last hour of the day, but he knew what he was doing, he, just in and out. Yeah. But then uh, inevitably, five minutes to close. Yeah. And it got to the point where I didn't even like pretend anymore. Hey, what can I help you with? I need to know straight up front. Right. We're not, we're not browsing. Right. Okay. We, we, we would have browsed a half hour we're, ago. We're, we're past browsing. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Um, if you want something that's going to take more than 10 minutes, you're coming back tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, you just, it's just how it is. Yeah. But so, but here's my question now, I guess, and this isn't, I have a question set up for you guys today that I'm very proud of. Is this but a question? This is not it, but here's my, here's my question prompting from that. Since we pretty much all have to self check out ourselves, there's really a cashier working till any time we leave the building. Now, now you're, you're stepping on one of my new bits. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> oh, am I really? Yeah. I haven't seen I, this bit yeah, yet. No, I do a whole bit <clears throat> on self checkout. Okay. So, but um, but I really feel like when they go, hey, the last register is closing. Eh, it's not. Yeah, it's not because I'm still here. Right. So yeah. So yeah, I, I feel like that that that's your loophole if you're in retail now. You're like, damn it. I can't tell you how many times though people are done. Like, because if you go to some big box stores, they have self checkout on both ends. Yeah. Like they have self checkout, 400 registers that are manned by two people, and then another self checkout. And if they have a grocery store, usually it's the checkout by the grocery that is packed. Yeah. I can tell you how many times I've looked at that line, been like, well, this is dumb. Walked to the other side. Yeah. Walked right through it, checked myself out, walked back to the people in the grocery and been like, deuces. And then like, leave. Like, <laughs> guys, just walk down there. Yeah. But you know what they're thinking? That guy forgot his wallet. It don't yeah, matter. Uh, now you're <laughs> he, really, now you're really stepping on my bit. He's coming back. <laughs> now you're really stepping on my bit. So, so, uh, how was your week? Anything uh, eventful or no? If not, I got a great question for you guys. 
It's I up to you. I don't, I don't, don't, really. don't Mac this now and be like six minutes later. They're like, hey. Oh, wait. Uh, yes. Yeah, so oh. No. Hey, are we still talking about weeks? No, we're in strange stories right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Weird. No, it's it <laughs> nothing. Huh? We'll just, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So see, it, I think it's this time of year. People and people well, tend to stay in a bit too. You know, yeah. they're not. I shovel snow. Is that, does that count? No. No, that's, that's I not I eventful. Have, I didn't have to crawl through the. Did you have a grabber? No. That's not eventful. <laughs> no, yeah. but I did get the, oh, uh, when I came out halfway through and let the dog out, I thought you were done. So I didn't come out and help. I didn't switch off like we like we agreed to before oh, we started. weird. Like, really? Uh, been in this house 12 years. That excuse has been used 27 times. <laughs> well, it's good for like yeah. twice a year then. If you don't see me in the driveway and you see me over where the sidewalk is, yeah. presumably I'm sleeping, I'm shoveling the sidewalk. I'm yeah. not over there checking out to see like. <laughs> Like angles of the house. Oh, the house looks beautiful from over here. <laughs> is dad is dad done? Well, he's laying down. He's yeah. laying down in the yard. So yeah. I gotta assume. I gotta assume he's yeah, done. Yeah, he's he's kind of making snow logs, not yeah. angels. Yeah. The dog. The dog's marking him as yeah. his territory he's, right he's now. He's not really making angels so much as he is just <laughs> making one solid log down there. <laughs> but it was like I come back in forty minutes later, and I was like, "Oh, I, you're just coming in now? When I let the dog out, I thought you were done. No, I'd done half the driveway and part of the sidewalk." Yeah. That's the other half of the driveway and the rest of the sidewalk yeah. to go. I, you do, know, I was do, done do, with do, my do, half. Yeah. yeah. Hey, coincidentally, I was finished yeah. with my half. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, I understand. That's uh, that's a fun game to play, though, isn't it? Oh, I thought you were done. Right? Especially, yeah. too, like, um, I hate to say it. Like, if, if I were to leave food on my, because I have teenagers. Yeah. So, if I leave food on my plate that is, like, desirable. And I walk away for a minute and come back. I thought I thought you were done. First off, I'm never done till it's empty. Right. Okay, you, you Damon know doesn't share food. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I, first off, I'm never done. Okay, yeah. so when we run out of food, I'm like, man, I wish we had more. We've you been know? doing uh, those meals, like not home, like meals they deliver to your house. And you okay, cook them. so so they're already pre measured and everything. Yeah, like Blue, blue Apron is the okay. name of it. That couldn't get any. But we've been Call doing me. ones where they're actually like pre made meals where you can either put them in the oven or put them in the microwave. They're just ready to go. Yeah. And we order them up. We, a week ahead, we say, like, I want this one, I want this one, I want this one. And we each choose. Mm-hmm. And mine keep getting eaten. I keep getting being told, well, just write your name on the ones that are yours. Like, if you didn't pick it, yeah. it wasn't yours. <laughs> if you open the fridge and go, oh, this spare rib with, you know, uh, risotto and, you know, potatoes au gratin looks good. Yeah. But I didn't choose it. It probably wasn't one of your picks. Yeah. That's my point. Like, why do I have to tell you yeah. what you didn't do? Like, I shouldn't have to write my name on it. If you don't recognize it, don't eat it. You know so, I mean? so we went through that, and I don't know if I told the story, but on, on Nicole's birthday, uh, I bought, uh, like, in the morning, one of the things she had was she likes this Danish from the grocery store. So I got it, right? Is it the, is it, <clears throat> huh? Is it a Kringle? It's not a Kringle, but those are also very delicious. Those are Danish. But uh, so anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Chris Kringle, I'd say. No, anyway. Um, so I go, and I'm with, I'm with Chuck when I'm shopping, and I go, you like these? He goes, yeah, I'm buying two. Because I already know what's going to happen. Right. We eat and i think i may have told part of the story but anyway there's some left for my wife okay when she takes her one piece in the morning because she's not a big morning person eating stuff she leaves goes to work and there's over half of this thing left right so i get home she gets home and it's gone now she first person she looks at of course is me because i love this thing too i said no i know that was yours it's not you know and and check goes you weren't done with that that's exactly what he said you weren't done with that i said there was slightly more than what's left there now when you said, okay, mom, that's yours. I said, she didn't eat it in the allotted time frame that you gave her. Right. So now it's yours. <laughs> yeah. He's like, <clears throat> you know, you know that? One Mississippi, two yeah. Mississippi. <laughs> She's not even home. You know, yeah. He's counting Mississippis. <laughs> Four Mississippi. <laughs> Man, mom's at work. Hey, you done with that? You know? <laughs> I'm giving her six Mississippis. <laughs> You know what's weird is like we almost have that like it, as being a parent. You're yeah. like he's on Mississippi's. You like get in the car and you rush home. <laughs> Damn it! It was 57 Mississippi's. I don't know what happened. <laughs> How did you know I was doing it? Well, I put my thermostat meter over to Mississippi <laughs> meter. And I knew to come home. It picks up Mississippi's just in case it, you're wondering. <laughs> and the thing is, I don't mind because at least they're eating stuff. Because uh, like, a lot of times we'll buy food and then no one wants to eat it, and I'm throwing right. it out as long as you eat. But the thing is, like, I don't want what they picked. Yeah. Like, if you wanted this, it was on the menu. You could have picked that. If you want to trade, once we get it, then then see it. But a trade is a compromise. Right. A trade is not, yeah. well, look, I ate mine, well, and now I'm going to volunteer. Here's what I usually yours. pick. Like, there's a lot of stuff I want to try, but I don't want to take it for dietary reasons. Like, I don't want on a Wednesday night to eat something that, you know, might give me the fast poops Thursday, yeah. right? Because yeah, right. I got to work in the morning. Right. So I picked, and then when they eat mine, and then suddenly all that's left is, like, you know, ricotta-filled uh, shells. Sounds delicious. And marinara sauce? Sounds delicious. Those are literally just... Cups yeah. of diarrhea coming yeah. my way. Yeah. Don't I'm, want it. I'm going to get destroyed. Yeah. 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 You know what? There's not an amount of Mississippi's yeah. that's going to make yeah. me eat Let these. me see how much PTO I have. 
So well, I can eat this one meal. If, if it goes in the wrong order, you got yeah, FMLA, FMLA. You know right. what I mean? This is all you got that. Um, but no. Every time we talk about law, it's required. <laughs> that, that's something that we deal with. And, and again, anybody who has kids, they get to a certain age where they, they don't stop eating. I, mean, I feel bad because when we were growing up, uh, we used to get a really old Super 6. Call me. Legit. If anyone who wants to call and sponsor me, I will take a really all day. Yeah. And we'd get it and we'd order like the Fiesta, which is the large. It's like the size bigger than party. I think it's like the biggest one you can get. Yeah. And I, as a kid, I was like, oh, I just want to keep eating it until it's gone. Right. Mm-hmm. That's my mentality. Now that I'm a, the dad, I'm like, oh, that sucks. I bet my dad really wanted that. Because <laughs> I'm the dad and right. I know I really want it. So the difference is my really kids good. don't want it. My kids, like my, my son only likes pepperoni pizza from one place. Now I'm going to get into it. <laughs> uh my daughter might like it. We just never, we don't, we're not around it. So we don't get it very much. Yeah. But in my house, everyone loved it. So it literally it would be like, you'd hear the fridge open and be like, what's going on? Yeah. Who's getting pizza? Yeah. That last quadrant's mine. Yeah. We're not all hungry. Yeah. We're not all hungry right now. Yeah. But that, so we've, my, my wife has resorted to writing her name on stuff. When she wants it, she writes her, she'll write her name. She'll put a post-it note right on the Tupperware. Can she come to my house and just yeah. write my name? Cause I'm just too lazy. I just don't care. Yeah. <laughs> We should have written your name on it. I have to go now, find a pen. Are those in throwaway containers? So really, all you need is a sharpie, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. There's a there's like a cardboard sleeve over the top of it, so, so you, you could write right on it. there. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I got, but I got to go find a pen. Yeah. I got to write three letters. That's a yeah. lot of work. Just, just, she puts, like, just put your initials. Again, still three letters. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, and and depending on how legible it is, uh, the rest of them could really hold on. I'm gonna take. I'm, uh, that's part of my bit. I'm gonna take notes on that because I never yeah. thought that that yeah. could also be part of it. <laughs> I don't want to lose this. Go what, ahead. What the audience doesn't know is Ted is now typing in his phone because he's discovered something funny while he's with Damon. Well, he's discovered a nugget of something that isn't funny yet. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to make it work. He has a comedy nugget that he has to shine. <laughs> that he has to shine. <laughs> will it float to the top or will he flush it down? Right, yeah. He's got comedy coal, baby. He's got to squeeze that into a diamond. <laughs> it's coal, Jerry. It's coal. coal. <laughs> <laughs> that old team bit gets him every time. So, so I have a what if for you. All right. This is a, a real question that popped in my head when I couldn't sleep in the middle of the night. Um, and it, it was prompted by. Did I leave the <clears throat> iron on? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How much leftover pizza can you eat without anybody <laughs> noticing? <laughs> so you ever done that though too? Not, not to digress, but like you, you see something like maybe it's, it's already shaped and you're like, oh, like pie or cake. And you're like, yeah. well, if I just take a sliver. Right. And then well, you, you, you take really, a sliver from both sides. So you it do. has the same like isosceles right. look to it. Right. And, but uh, you've done nice. that. But then at the same time, <laughs> isosceles, that's a fun word. <laughs> Don't be obtuse. <laughs> Wasn't he a Greek? Oh, never mind. But anyway, um, but but you do that stuff. And then what sucks is for you is you're like, I just ate that sliver. Now I need another sliver. You know? Yeah. And it's like, it happens to me all the time with like cherry cheesecake. You're like, well, oh. I always have the mentality like, I know this is the kids thing. Yeah. Like, like the kids wanted this and I'm, but I'm like. I'm going to tell it. If they want more, I'll just go get them more. Yeah. If they complain, I'll go buy them more. Yeah. And I think they just never say anything. So, I just, like, they've never broken me out of the habit of, I'm just going to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Speak up. Stop me from eating it. Same thing, though. If you have a full, like, say, a, a full dish of cherry cheesecake, okay, and you're cutting into squares. Um, and so you're doing that, and and you're, you're starting to eat, like, you're down, you're, you're approaching the halfway mark, and you're like, oh, no, they're going to notice, like, another row missing. <laughs> so you go down the side. You're like, okay, look, now it still sticks out as far in the pan, <laughs> but the side row, because nobody wants that corner piece that always breaks apart when you're trying to get it out, you know? So I'll do stuff like that, and immediately they'll be like, Dad was eating cheesecake. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like my telltale. What yeah. happened? Well, the pattern changed. Yeah. Well, it's and- the same as, like, when you cut lasagna when it's too hot. Like, do I get the stuff that's squirted out from over there? Right. Or do I need to leave that in the pan and that goes to that side? Right. Because the next guy's going to be really pissed with yeah. this piece of lasagna. Yeah. We just got noodles and nothing in the middle. <laughs> it's all like, you cut too soon. It's still hot. <laughs> and it's super slippery because it's yeah. two noodles lubed with <laughs> lubed with marinara sauce. And you go to cut it and it squirts the other way. You're like, where'd my noodle go? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. I am missing something. <clears throat> and I don't, <laughs> meanwhile, you're just like, I don't know. You know, <laughs> you, meanwhile, you're like, <laughs> I don't know. Don't your mouth's you. burning because yeah. you got all the stuff that's on fire. Yeah, you're, you're like, you're, yeah. you're saying, I don't know, but it's coming out like, I don't know. I'm a, yeah. Yeah. Um, suspicious. <laughs> suspicious minds. <laughs> we already did an Elvis song. Yeah, Let's do another one. Yeah. <laughs> so, so here's my what if. What if you donate an organ and they find a corpse? Will you be declared a victim and dead again due to DNA? Because honestly, they do DNA. So would they get yeah. two sets of DNA? from that and and vice versa because i watched some weird netflix stuff so i have the stuff in my brain if if you donated hair for a wig and that was at the scene 
would your DNA be at the scene? Because no. even though you're not, your hair is Yeah, there. usually they get hair from the follicle, not the actual strand. Okay. They have to have the actual skin tag. Okay. For, at least for hair is what, from what I understand. But this is all based on watching CSI. Who knows if that's really true? <laughs> <laughs> what about your years of Columbo, CSI? I'm not a, I'm everything not a can't go to waste. But yeah, most of it, they, usually they have to have like the full, like the follicle. If it's just a strand of hair, it's not going to do it. But the other thing is interesting because if you're donating an organ, presumably you're dead. Correct. You're gone. So they find someone, or, the, the, or, new, the new person's now dead. Or possibly a ki- somebody could do a kidney yeah, that's and live. True. That's true. You know, they could do a kidney and live. That's true. And, and I realize there'll be two sets of DNA and probably one will be overpowering, but your DNA would stay with that, right? With your kidney? It's a good question. Or does that morph? No, does I that, don't think it would. I mean. But they usually don't pull like DNA from the organ. They pull it from. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get it. They get it like from the bone or something, right? Or the, for teeth for or. Blood, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 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 But I guess maybe if that's all they could. That was just my question because I, I, like I said, I was watching. Uh, I'm years behind the curve, but I was watching that making a murderer. Yeah. And uh, again, it just it kind of threw me for a loop. I'm like, my no, daughter seems, has really long hair. She's talked about donating it. Now she it seems like it. she's taking. You're taking too many notes. <laughs> so how do I not get caught? Right. Uh, do I have to donate a yeah. kidney? Yeah. So if I do this, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That guy's got the same DNA. <laughs> yeah. Why are you pointing at the guy you donated a kidney to? Oh, maybe some of him got yeah. on me. I yeah, don't know. I mean, is it, no, here's what you need to do. You need to find out that you were twins separated at birth. Ooh. Identical twins. Right. Because then you would have the same DNA. So he's a good looking And if dude. the other person doesn't, gross, then, <laughs> then the other person doesn't know that they're a twin, but then you could set them up for all kinds of stuff because you would have their same DNA. Are you writing another bit? No. Okay, just checking. He no, that's a, that's a long out. setup for to be like, <laughs> no, for no punchline. So I'm with my buddy. We do a <laughs> podcast, right? <laughs> Stay with me now. Yeah. Stay. I get five yeah. minutes. That, that's that's get, a super I, great way to do uh, to do comedy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so guys, I do a podcast. On one episode, someone said this. Stay now with you me. have to know the background because we grew up together. So forty-one years ago, <laughs> that that's an Andrew Ferguson joke. I'm, I'm so, hey, you know what? He gets to the punchline though. Eventually, <laughs> he does. His punchline, so it's it's worth it. But you, you go, you only had five. That's a, that's a long ride. You only had five. Yeah, well, it takes seven minutes. That's the problem. <laughs> you take seven minutes to get to a five-minute hey, punchline. When you have a total disregard for a light, <laughs> yeah. you are never yeah. stopped at five. Yeah. Okay? Never. <laughs> Shout out to Andrew. Call me. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so that's where we're at with that. I understand. I just, it kind of confused me. I'm like, that would be the way then to like rob rob somebody or do yeah. and be like, oh, well, there's strands of hair left. Yeah, but now, you're right. Now they could do a hair comparison. That's true. Okay. Like that they would do like strand to strand. But if you've never committed another crime, you you, you wouldn't have anything on file. Right. So I Well mean, they would like it's like right. They wouldn't like go, Oh, this is a this is this kind of hair. Let's go find everyone else that has that hair. They would but if they found the wig hair if someone if they could trace it back maybe to where who got the wig yeah, or something. But like I'm that. saying if someone was wearing that wig and committed a crime somehow uh, against the odds in your house. Right. Then, then they'd be like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. This is confusing. Yeah. That would be, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. However, in your house, it's all dog hair anyway. So <laughs> it really is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the We got the lint roller from the drawer and we found 57 different hairs on it. All dog. Yeah. It's all good. Um, so here's my other thing then, I guess. For 2022, we said we would not have any uh, New Year's resolutions. And I don't. But what about if we do like uh, never have I ever? You know what I'm saying? Like, right. is there something you'd want to do this year that you've never done? It's not a resolution. It's not, but it's like, you know what? I never did this. Or I never did that. Well, it, it's hard because the stuff I want to do is the stuff that it's still hard to do right now. Gotcha. Like, I want to, I want to travel internationally. I've never done that. I want to go visit our, our buddy Macaulay in Canada. Gotcha. You could do that because we don't have to fly. It'd be a long drive. Yeah. Hey, Mac, you can get there by car. Just saying. So. <laughs> yeah. You can get the to the look I got. You can get to Florida by car. I've done it before. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer flying. Yeah. I I understand. I understand. But uh but you can still get there. Yeah. No, now, when, I, he, totally when he tells his, his Tokyo stories or whatever, I, I can't do that. Right. And I, so I you can that's a, where that you came take from. A boat. Yeah. Would you <laughs> yeah. that? Would you would you would you go on a ship? Um I don't know about now, because now it's like a cesspool of no, gross. Correct. Right. No, uh-huh. you know what? I, I always thought because I wanted to do a cruise, but I wanted to do like a uh from Florida, like the Bahama thing. So I don't know how far away I mean you're still in the middle of the ocean, I guess. But I, I think I'd prefer to do something where, like, I'd still see land for a while. You know what I mean? So do, do you think <clears> you would break your uh, break into it? They have, they have river cruises. I've seen those. I, I, look, the, sh- the channel I watch has a lot of those on there. And you watch them and you're like, people paid money for these. Now, I realize. No, some of them are, yeah. Some of them are like, all uh, right. Yeah. Well, some of them are, like, literally paying $6,000 to go into 
garbage Star Wars hotel in Disney, but we won't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but some of them are nice. So some of the newer ones are. I mean, their ships can, clearly can't be as big as an ocean liner. Right. But some right. of the newer ones are. But half of them, you're bad. like, this is like a glorified canoe. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you're like, what do you what do you what do you do? You know, there's going to be fireworks, but everybody's got to move to that side of the boat because yeah. we could get burnt yeah. when they go off. You know, it's like, it's. Can just someone come man my oar? I want to go to the buffet. Right. <laughs> Uh, of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> That's a live quote from Mr. Baraki himself. <laughs> but uh, but no, see, and I yeah, was, but I, I would if you can get if you can just so I was even psych yourself up to go to a Caribbean cruise. I'd do it. it. It's beautiful down there. I just love the fact that you went big because this is literally the couple oh, things I jotted down. What? Okay, you, I've never drank wine. <laughs> all right, I've never had coffee ever in my life do you, but do you want to do that i i, I don't but these are things like, like i, I like joined i don't think going to canada is that big it's right there right it's america's well, hat. i've actually been to canada it's america's hat yeah. we're living in canada's shorts yeah like, i don't know you have the, yeah and we have the we have the dingle hanging out down I was just there about yeah. to say, where's the wing yeah it's florida yeah. it's hanging out okay <laughs> but uh but no that that's what i'm saying i i went small uh had coffee uh i've never and again i don't want to do this but i've never done this um smoked um, cigarettes or had a chewing tobacco. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm, I'm 45 years old. Uh, I've never been arrested. Make, and make the 40s. last thing, the last thing, and I, not that I'd want to do it, but I don't think anybody else would want me to, uh, streaked or nude running. And um, I've never owned a dedicated rental property. That's the one that I might like to do this year. We took a long way around to be like, I want to be a land, <laughs> a landlord. I want to be a slumlord. Yeah. And uh, no, but I'm just saying, like, you went huge on yours. I want to do that stuff someday. I totally do. First, I have to get over my fear of flying, and I have to fly. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, there's other stuff. Like, I, I have uh, escape room gift cards burning the hole in my pocket gotcha. that I want to use. Right. Love those. When I yeah. do that. I'd but like anything- to go to the beach. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, there's stuff I, yeah, there's stuff that's like, Big picture, like little things I don't. Really you know, I should add that to mine too. Beach. I've, I've literally, I've, I've been to Florida how many times? I've never seen the ocean. I've never been to the beach. Which is amazing because in <clears throat> in Florida you can see the sunrise and the sunset from going from one side to the other. Yeah, beach to beach. Yeah. Nah, I'm fine. I'll, just, I'll just <laughs> stay in the middle with the mouse. You know what? It'll get here eventually. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I saw the sunrise yeah. and I saw it set. Yeah, it went over there. Right here. Here and there. Where'd you see it from? Well, I saw it rise in Morocco and I saw it lower in Italy. Uh, were you at Epcot? <laughs> Yeah, how many how many uh, countries down is your dream woman? Yeah, wait a minute here. How much time do you spend in Italy? Does Nicole know? Um, but no, I, I think I would wait, add that you're beach. Italian. I know. <laughs> I would add that beach thing though. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I seriously, I, I've never, I've always had a vacation where you're go go go. Yeah. You know, I've never had a uh, a peaceful, just relaxing. You know, even when we went to Tennessee, which is is normally peaceful. You know, we we went into Pigeon Forge and we went into Gatlinburg and we and we did the the sights and sounds of what was there. You know what I mean? And we still had to, you had to have a reservation to go do this museum and you had to do this you had to do. And, and it was like, you still had kind of a time frame, you know, I've, I, I couldn't imagine just getting up. And, and again, I, I don't have a beach body. I have a beached whale body. I get it, you know, yeah. but, but I couldn't imagine getting up and just going and sitting and listening to the sounds and being like, okay, not yeah. have your headphones in, not have, just be like, wow. Peaceful. Yeah. And, uh, that's the double-edged sword. If you go someplace you've never been there before, yeah, you want to do you everything. Wanna, you want to do some stuff that, like, maybe I'll never come back, right? And so you want to do it. When we went to L.A. a few summers back, we got two rental properties. One we were in the heart of L.A. We did all the Hollywood stuff, all that stuff, and the second one was right off the beach. It was like a block off the beach, mm-hmm. and that one we didn't go anywhere except beaches, really, which was nice. It wasn't as warm as it could have been, which that you know that's just some, our luck, but. Still, just to be able to wake up in the morning, walk across the street, and then down a hill, and you're at a beach. Yeah, yeah, it was. That's it was pretty, pretty cool. cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You know. So, and and like I said, and there was other stuff to do. I'm sure around you <clears throat> that you could run and run and run and run. Yeah. But you, if you have the mindset to just take it in, you know, and that's that's where we're at. Like when we do go to the mouse house, isn't it? We've we've been enough times. We know we're going again. We we don't have to fit. You know, the first couple of vacations, you're like, I got to do this. I've never done this. I got to do this. Now it's like, okay, let's go. So it's it's a little more peaceful but there's still time restraints you know i couldn't imagine just getting up and being like (sighs) yeah and that was cool because like the first half of the vacation was the go 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 and the second half of the vacation was yeah yeah a little while you want to go up to the up to the boardwalk and get some gelato yeah why not and then if you do you do if you don't you don't right yeah Yeah. so no that's that's a cool those are the ones when you get back you're like okay i don't need a vacation from a vacation it's the ones where you're like i had to go see everything do everything where suddenly it's like can can i have another week off yeah well and, and 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 that's honestly too why 
I do enjoy driving that trip because you you get the wind up on the way down and you get the family time spent where nobody can get away. You know what I mean? And then you get the wind down on the way home. And I know I'm in charge of a vehicle that's got everybody's life. I, like, I get I, that. By that point, I'm tired. So <clears throat> but 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 I'm kudos just saying, to you. Yeah, but it's just it's just a chill. It's just a it's a chill factor, and it's just like wow, you know. And and that's why I said so. That's really the only time. And that, and, or when I get up super early, because I do, I get up early in my family, um, and I might sit outside, like you said, and watch the sun come up or this or that, and you're like, it's peaceful, you know? But uh, th- that's the only thing I wish when, when we travel, like, I could go to some place where uh, I have a separate room, because it feels like I want to get up and do stuff, but everyone else wants to sleep in. And yeah. It's like, how do I get out of here without making noise? Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, this is my vacation. Like, I want to, like, even if it's just I want to get up and get outside and just watch the sunrise, Yeah, I don't want to waste it. But I don't want to ruin it for everyone else by being like, where's my pants? Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Where's my shoe? Yeah. Where's my bongos? I want yeah. to practice this morning. Right. <laughs> Which I, I got to admit, the, I know it's controversial in some states, but the, 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 uh, the RBO, the Airbnb, that stuff is so much better because you can usually have a separate. Correct. Space. Well, and, that's and, all I do. And, and that's the thing. See, when I, when I go, that's how we, we stay in a two bedroom. So the, the kids have their own bedroom. Yeah. You know what I mean? We have our own bedroom and then there's a, a living space. So if they want to be up a little later than us, that's fine. If we want to be up a little earlier than them, that's fine too. So you're right. When you rent yeah. a house like that, it, it's, it's more like being at home, Yeah. you know? And that's, I think that's why so many people too, even when this, when, when what we're in right now started, people started going to like Tennessee to cabins that sleep 14 and they can right. have the family come in and, but still you can get up and do your own thing or you can go out on a walk as long as you don't get eaten by a bear. You know what I mean? But you can do that stuff. Yeah. And it's like, uh, like I said, I, I, I long for that stuff. Speaking of that, I would like to rent an RV and do a short RV trip just so I can prove to myself I never want an RV. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I want to get that out of my mentality. Like, I don't want one of these. Maybe we should, uh, we should, we should do that together because uh, my wife is determined that we're going to have an RV someday, and that's how we're going to live and get across, get around the country. And I asked, I said, who's going to drive that RV? Yeah, right. Okay, see, now, if I'm, if I'm like Tim McGraw— uh, and someone's driving me. Right, right. If yeah. we're Tim and Faith, and we both put money in this RV, uh, but we'll call it a bus now, um, neither one of us has to drive, okay? Right. And you know what's neat? Because the one thing people don't understand either is much like any vacation where you're the guy that carries the stroller or this or that, or you're the guy that does all the driving, there's two different vacations being had. Right. There's the relaxation completely, and there's the relaxation somewhat. You know right. what I mean? Well, that, that's like the RV... There's a there's a trade off. It's inverse proportional as to it's easy to drive. It's not comfortable to be in. Right. The more comfortable it is to be in, the less easy. Yeah, Correct. The harder it is to drive yeah. and pilot. And Look at that seat. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, it's in a provost bus. Right. And unless I think well, I'm, I meant like like this has bunk beds and a full kitchen and a queen right. bed in the back and everything. Right. You're driving a bus. Right. Like oh, this is easy to drive. It feels like a truck. Right. You're driving this like a glorified U-Haul. Like right. th- that, yeah. those are your two choices. Yeah. Like there's no. You have a conversion van, <laughs> and even those that those have the dog cage over the engine that hits my my knee and right. my leg. I'm uncomfortable. Well, you it, know, it's funny you say that. The there's two different vacations because I feel like whenever we go on vacation as a family, that's still the mentality like, hey, we'll do whatever we want. We won't if we forget anything. Dad will scoop it up. Well, Dad's <laughs> kind of tired of being the one to check under beds and like in drawers and like yeah. uh, like. Do we have everything? Do we get everything? Are we packed up? Are we at the airport on the right time? Do we have the car back when we need it? Like, yeah. Sometimes Dad just wants to be like, "Where are we going and when?" Yeah, that's all I want to do. Yeah. So you're, so you're the sweeper. It's a, it's I'm the sweeper too. It's the same with, "Hey, I want to go out to eat." Okay, cool. And then they ask you where you want to go. Well, this was your idea. I don't. Right. Like until two seconds ago, I didn't know we were going you out. You must to eat. have had an idea right. of something. Right. What do you have the taste for? If your idea was, I don't want to, I don't want to cook anything. Fin for yourself. That's a different story. Right. I'll do whatever I want. But yeah. for you to come to me like, "Hey, let's go out to eat." Okay. Well, where do you want to go? I, I didn't, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been thinking of it. You know, now I'm kind of on the spot. The, the first time I had the idea to go out to eat was when you just said, yeah. let's go out to eat. Or, and the, or conversely, you're like, okay, hey, want to go here? No. <laughs> do you so, have any, uh, do you have any options? No. I, I did find a great way to do that is you, you do literally ask the person, you go, you go, uh, um, <clears throat> where do you think I'm going to take you? You know what I mean? <laughs> and then when they, uh, well, we're going to go to, we're going to go to Mariska's. We're going to Mariska's. Yeah, how'd you know? We're going to Mariska's. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'll as long as they don't say I'll somebody, I'll try that. Guaranteed yeah. not to work. No, but you you, you got to try that. You got to be like, you got to be like, hey, you have any idea where I'm taking you though? Yeah. You know anybody? Here's the thing. I'm not fancy. I, I'm perfectly ca- happy with going to the mom right. and pop up the street. <clears throat> Correct. The, the run Correct. by a great family of, of of Greek people that have like 17 pages on their menu. Right. None yeah. of Greek food. <laughs> Do you have euros? No, 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 we don't. No, we, we don't. don't. We don't. No, have we euros. don't. We have a Mexican page and an Italian <laughs> page and a Chinese page. Yeah. 
an American fare page, <laughs> three pages of breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they do breakfast great. So right. all those oh, yeah. places oh, yeah. always do breakfast yeah. great. Um, you can get that any time of the day. Can I have soup now? No. <laughs> but you just have to warm it up. No soup. So, so I do want to talk about a product I saw this week too. Oh, no. All okay. Right. This is called the Safety Can Express. Okay. Ooh, I, so this is what it says is it says, don't break a nail with a pop top can and don't cut yourself on lids with regular openers. You're going to leave that uh, old cut lid in the bin. Wouldn't someone come along and cut themselves in there? First off, who's digging through your garbage? Right. Okay. Now, if you got paparazzi, first off, I'm peppering that yeah. with cut lids. Okay. Yeah. Because now I have your DNA all over my garbage I'm, can. I'm and dipping I it in honey and putting them in some, <laughs> in some glass. Yeah. <laughs> and then throwing it out. <laughs> what do you, hey, honey, what are we doing with that bag of glass we got there? Yeah. Uh, that's for the garbage. I, w- I will <laughs> say that when I right, when we have the lid, the pop lid, and I throw it, not, not, yeah. not like a, beverage pop it's like the pop top lid yeah from like a can of soup or vegetables or something i throw that in the garbage because if the dog sniffs around the recycling yeah maybe he will uh, oh that's a that's a problem inadvertently hit that yeah correct but yeah but i don't have humans digging through my recycling nor my garbage no no because it, it, here's the deal i i'm nobody that people have to look at i don't think i have a pi sniffing around my right. house maybe 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 I'm, I'm i'm good for something so what does know. this product do so basically what it does is um it cuts the can off Okay, but it cuts it off in a way to where there's no there's no sharp edges. Okay, which I hate to say it, I kind of already have one of these that I do by hand. It's it's just a say, can like, opener. Don't, don't they have you know what I mean? The, the cuts around the ring the other way. Correct. Yeah. It cuts around the ring. Um, but what I'm saying is, is with this stuff, first off, if you're worried about ripping a nail open in a can of well, mushrooms or something or corn, yeah, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. Okay. Plus, if you're in your kitchen, odds are you're not like in your basement or in your loft opening yeah. corn, um, you probably have a, a little knife. You could grab a, a, a butter, butter knife, knife right. put it on an air, pop it, and you're done. Okay? Uh, here, here's the problem I think I have, is that people, uh, which I don't get anyone of this generation is still worrying about this, but I think the older generation still remembers back when they didn't have, like, the twist can openers. They had, like, the little, like, lever ones. Yeah. And you'd see the Popeye cartoons where it would only be open halfway. Because <laughs> they could have one around the can and be like, screw it, I can get it out of this <laughs> hole. And they're <laughs> right, done. Right. right. Now right. we have the, like, any, like, you can get the lid off completely. Correct. And it doesn't, and it, like the magnets suck it up. There's no touching it. Like, yeah. I but haven't, <laughs> I haven't been in danger of cutting myself on a can in decades. So, so the guy, the guy that's in the commercial goes, this is, a, this is a quote. He says, now I can reuse the can in my garage. Okay. Do you really, first off, this might be something that our grandparents would have done. Right. Okay. Um, or even like, uh, I, I think there's still one in my grandma's garage, a Folgers can. Yeah, full, a like metal can, can. Yeah. a metal can. I think it has like screws and nails from like seventy five years ago that nobody's yeah. touched. I mean, now if you're going to do that in this point, I think people would use like mason jars so you can like you, you can know, see they screw it. the lids yeah. to the underneath and they yeah. screw the lids you know, the bot jar then. But it, it was uh, so he says that, and then what it is is he has he has a label on one of them that says nails and screws. So you're worried about a jagged <laughs> jagged lid, okay? And you're going to stick your fingers right into the nails and screws right. one and be like, found them. Yeah. Okay. That's what you're worried about. And first off, I, I mean, I hate to like just thinking about it now. If if I'm smart enough to use a label maker, but I'm too worried about cutting myself with a with a lid, I, I don't think that's the same person. You know what right. I'm saying? Well, I think you're you're fussy enough, or you're right. To right. Use, not, not just smart enough, but just like anal. Right. I guess yeah. that's the word. You're, you're you're so this has to be neat and tidy. Right. And I didn't cut myself. Well, first off, you probably got mittens on your hands all the time. How'd you use a label maker? Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> How'd you really do that? And this goes back to like anyone in the Shark Tank would be like, what problem are you trying to solve? None. There's no problem here. Right. <laughs> this has been solved a long time ago. I don't know what yeah. this guy was thinking. And here's the thing. So it's like an old, it's like a can opener that it's 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 powered. So you, yeah. first off, you have to have it plugged in somewhere and it has to be out, okay? I can't just reach in the drawer and like after about six spins, I got the top off the can. Right. You know, I have the same thing. It just doesn't have power. Right. But but they call it the safety can express. Explain I, the express part. Is there a safety can like full on? <laughs> you know I mean, like the, the full service safety can? And this is just the- Look, uh, we have the a safety can version. thing. It takes forever. Okay, yeah. it takes forever. If you want the fast pass lane. Yeah, because when I see Express, you just like, oh, McDonald's Express at the mall? Cool, they're going to have cheeseburgers and fries, nothing else. <laughs> yeah. Well, can I get a flit? No. <laughs> you were going to say, oh, fish. Yeah. We know you, yeah. sir. Can I get a quarter? No. Mm. <laughs> can I get a burrito? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> but no, I just, same thing. Or maybe it's uh, everybody get on board. Hey, it's, yeah. the, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a safety can Express, everybody. But- 
the price of it, you're not going to believe this. Oh my god, 19.95. And if you order oh, and pay separate two? shipping, you get two. Two. So what household needs a second one of these? And if someone gives me this as a present, which I'm going to be pissed. That brings it up that I don't need two can openers. I need like seven pizza pizza cutters. You're right. Because I swear to God, someone make a frozen pizza, cut it. Now, here's yeah. a, if I make a frozen pizza and cut it, I rinse off and I wash the pizza cutter and I put it back in the drawer. Yeah. Because if someone comes down 10 minutes later and they're like, oh, you made pizza? I want pizza, but I don't want that pizza. I'm going to make my own pizza. Now they're not going to cut it. Right. Because the pizza thing, or, or, or if it's in the dishwasher, now they're going to be like, well, what do I cut the pizza with? Right. Just, just rinse it off, man. Yeah. It's not hard. It's not hard. It's not hard. When it's still hot and still everything, you just rinse it off, put a little soap, wash it, done. But you you bring up a good point about having extra stuff. This here, like I have the same can opener just doesn't use power. Okay. Yeah. I I do it. You know the bad part is when you make tuna fish or something you need to drain the water off of, you can't. You cannot press it down inside the can because it's the whole lid. Yeah. Okay. So they actually sell, go figure. Oh, they sell little strainers. The little strainer thing yeah. that you can and now here's the thing. It's got a little twist on to go for the bigger cans. It's got the small can and the twist on. Once you use it once on the bigger can and you push down hard, it no longer works for the bigger cans. <laughs> it breaks off where it snaps in. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. We've been through like three of these, and I'm like, why don't we just get a different can opener? I you mean, guys are eating some tuna fish over there. I, I do. Well, I like that, and I like uh, chicken salad. So they, they come. Yeah. And my wife's like, you get chicken out of a can? I'm like, L listen, I, you don't get this size by being picky. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> I'll, I'll eat chicken. I tell you, you go to and God, this is going to, man, we're getting really into the weeds. But if you go to Sam's or Costco, you can get those big, you get like a six pack of chicken in a can. Yeah. Yeah. You need a quick meal. You just throw that in. You're going to last me a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I don't see any need. And if anybody ever gives me anybody paying attention, I never want a safety can express. Yeah. Like we had a whole like write in, write in campaign to get you an air fryer. Yeah. <laughs> if this kicks yeah. off for the safety can express, yeah, this, I'm, was, I'm this, out. this was not, this was not intended for me to get a gift. Okay. So, but yeah, I, I just, I don't want to do that. Um, let's see here. Let's do a strange story. I want to do a strange story. <laughs> it's too long, Dave. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, if you could, if you could tighten that up, yeah. and get it back to us. We do. Uh, we'd really appreciate yeah. that. Um, <laughs> if you could just talk over. <laughs> it. <laughs> so we call uh, you out every episode, Dave, but it, we just can't. Yeah, long. we're we're still waiting. Look, no, it'd be funny if we let it play. It'd be over by now. Yeah, I know. Oh, we could go in a straight story. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have the time yeah. to hear the end of that, but uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I was busy ordering my. <laughs> My safety can't yeah, express. I'm busy seeing how much it would cost to ship my second safety can express <laughs> to Ontario, Canada. Yeah. With a note that says, please redo yeah, that, that intro. Up. <laughs> tight enough. <laughs> we, need, we need a tight 20. Okay. We need a tight 20. We need it. <laughs> oh, I missed it. But there it is. Yeah, that? Toy. Yes. Like a toy gun. <laughs> I love hearing my own toy. Like toy so awesome. He really does. <laughs> All right. So, strange stories. Let me give you a couple titles. Because, first one Thieves steal an entire bridge, leave cops confused. That, that reminds me of the old joke, like, uh, thieves steal cops' toilets. They have nothing to go on. <laughs> That's actually pretty. You should put that in your act. Write that down. No, I, take that, notes. That, <laughs> yeah, steal that from someone else. Put that in your notes. No problem. We'll do it. Listen, when you find something funny, you need to take it, okay? <laughs> Don't. When you actually come across something funny, you need to pee. Yeah. You claim that as your own. Right. You pee all over it, and you take it. <laughs> uh, second one, hamsters are nature's heaviest drinkers. That title really, really got me. So I, I was, I was looking at that one. Um, the whole bridge thing. We grew up in a town that had a little bridge that uh, <laughs> eventually was removed. And yeah, I mean, it, it had three bridges in the town. Yeah, but I'm saying, but I it had mean, a, actually more. It had a, it had a real, yeah, tiny one, if you will, right. that uh, then, then became lawn art for one of the construction companies in the area. Yeah. So it was kind of, kind of weird because they took it out in one piece. Uh, let's see here. Uh, restaurant forced to refund ice cream that was too cold. That's interesting. I want to find I, out about that. I, I, I kind of want to do this one, too. We yeah. cool with this? Yeah. Let's do this one. Are we cool, cool with this? Ah, uh, still got uh. it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, mercy. <laughs> That's so awesome. John Stamos is cool. So anyway, <laughs> why are you laughing at that? <laughs> uh. Well, Max is asleep the whole time until I say John Stamos is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Wait, what? All right, so restaurants, restaurant forced to refund ice cream that was too cold. Uh, asking for a refund for your food seems like a reasonable thing to do if your meal gets too cold. Unless, of course, you ordered ice cream. Uh, Hassan Habib, the owner of Lucky's Diner in, in the UK, okay, recently had an issue with the most ridic ridiculous refund of his career. Basically, uh, let's see here. The food wasn't warm enough when it got to them. 
They ordered four milkshakes, a cheesecake, and an ice cream. Now, this sounds like my typical order going through the drive-thru. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? So, I, and I might have got a Diet Coke. So, mm. I'm just saying. <laughs> Diet Coke was too cold. So, 45 minutes later, they put in a refund request. Do you think they still had any of this stuff 45 no. minutes later? I, I bet you they didn't. How is the ice cream too cold 45 minutes later? Right, right. Um, the, the situation is mind-boggling. Stupid. Yes, it is. Um, let's see here. A change for the worst. Unfortunately, it's a case of stupidity, but malice. Oh, the ice cream refund is just one example of the recent flood of scams plaguing English restaurants. Now, I got to think this happens probably a lot of places. Yeah. You know? Um, and you think they just, like, have a, have a template, and they put it in there, like it came cold? And right. then it, they didn't realize that one of them was ice cream. <laughs> yeah. What'd you order? Ice cream. And cheesecake. Oh, no. Did you get the baked cheesecake? No. <laughs> you know? Okay. Um, so basically, uh, they placed their ice cream order through Just Eat, which is like an Uber Eats over in Britain. In, in yep. Britain. Okay? Um, service uh, revamped its refund system to be simpler for the customers. Oh, so it's going through a secondary system that almost like if you paid with PayPal and you're like, I never bought that. Right. PayPal's going to stand up for you. So uh, apparently this place... This sounds weird because this place would be against the restaurants that are providing it food to do the service it gets paid to do. That's kind of weird. Um, I wonder if the, the guy gets to keep his tip. <laughs> Their product, so, yeah, they, you know what I mean? The middleman probably gets all the money both ways. So yeah. It they don't care. But it seems that the changes have now rigged the system against the restaurant owners. Uh, this is a quote. We can see how many orders someone's made on Just Eat or with us. I've seen someone who's ordered food from us, and they've never placed an order on Just Eat before. Uh, so what they claim is if they never ordered anything there before, and this is the first thing they're doing, they're a scammer. So they're getting free ice cream. You right. Know. So it, it, it's probably hurting a small percentage of people that are first timers, but did get screwed. Right. Uh, let's see here. It said, uh, so basically it says exploiting a loophole. Uh, there's a no questions asked policy with just eat. I would ask a question. Right. Okay. <laughs> first I would say, okay, we're going to come pick up the food and we'll take it back. And that's the only way we refund. It. I would get it when if you're trying to break into the market and there's like this is your your angle, your hook. Yeah. But at this point, when everyone's doing delivery and everything, I think that you you can't. But you can't run that risk. <clears throat> well, it says that uh, they're vulnerable to scams because no one asked asked them anything. The restaurants can't immediately they can't dis immediately dispute a false claim. So there's a 30 day dispute period. Well, first off, I, I don't have the food I ordered from you 30 days later. I probably don't have it 30 minutes later. Yeah. I mean, it's, it really screws the restaurant owner because it probably is, is that places that have a uh, a built-in system for delivery yeah. were making money hand over fist during the during the lockdown in England. Because in, in England, it was much worse than it was here. It was a complete lockdown. You couldn't gotcha. do, do anything. Okay. So the, the small places that needed to get delivery had to just like hook up with anyone that would do delivery. Oh, well, that makes sense. Just okay. so they could keep, stay open. Yeah. So now they have to go with these people who is not, or not them, but it's like, it's the only way they can get food to their customers. Yeah. And then they find out the customer, they're like, oh yeah, you can't dispute it though. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on now. <laughs> well, but we've had stuff like that here in the States where people like sue McDonald's for hot chocolate that's too hot, right? I mean. Okay. It was the coffee. Her I, 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 coffee. I think we told this before. Yeah. There's a lot of factors. First off, she was with her son who was driving a Ford Pro, but apparently didn't have a second cup holder. I didn't ever work for Ford. You can you can <laughs> tell me if that's true or not. I have. And, I, uh, I don't know. There are other cup holders, but, okay. but, but <laughs> maybe not in a probe. But the problem was is that it was, uh, I think, 50 degrees above the boiling point. Really? So it was, it was superheated. Yeah. So to her credit, to McDonald's credit, she just shouldn't have put it in her crotch to try to put sugar in it. True. But, like, she literally had his skin grafts and everything. It was pretty bad. And it wasn't the only complaint. She was just the, it was like the tip of the iceberg. Like, so many people have complained. This person got, was, like, in the hospital forever. Need surgery. Yeah. Yeah. It was, an, it was an elderly woman that literally burned her crotch off. Yeah. So, yeah. it That's the part that didn't get reported. Like, yeah, the coffee was hot. Yeah. Of course it was hot. Right. This was, like, molten lava. Yeah. <laughs> but, but honestly, if, if ice cream's frozen, or, yeah, it, it can't get, I mean, how cold can it get? That's the thing. If they had sent it in, like, a block of ice... Like yeah. it's in, encased in ice. Yeah. That's too cold. Yeah. Other than that, I don't see your I don't see your argument. But I ordered a cone. Yeah. You gave me the whole container. Well, sir, it's in the ice. We can't get it out. Now, so we, we gave you a discount. Two things <laughs> of this. You made fun of the Diet Coke thing. It, it, I get it. Like here's the problem is if you go to a fast food restaurant, there's nothing diet on the menu. Right. But a lot of people don't have time. They have 30 minutes for lunch. Yeah. Maybe they forgot what they were going to bring or their meal prep thing and they have to go get something. I want a sandwich, but I don't want a thousand calories in liquid form. Please give me your sandwich and a Diet Coke. Now, the people that order, like, seven sandwiches and a Diet Coke, yeah. you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> totally get it. But I was behind, I was at McDonald's the other day because I was uh, at work and I needed, but anyway, there was a person in front of me that ordered, and then at the pay window, 
is having a conversation and I'm like, oh no. And the it's like the person like keeps sticking their hand out to take the money and then bringing their hand back in and then talking some more and then putting the hand out, bringing it back in. And the person in the car is like saying stuff and then putting their hand on their head as if to like be look like they're, you know, exasperated. And I was like, oh, this is bad. Yeah. So You're watching front, us. Yeah, go to the front one. My first thing was like, you tell this person immediately, go to space one, someone will come out and talk to you. <laughs> They don't do that. They're talking, they're the talking, they're talking, they're talking, they're talking, they're talking, they're talking. I pull up, they're handing my food out. I know I'm in a problem because that means my food has been sitting there for this whole thing. And the window's open. And it was one of those days where it was like negative six. Yeah. And it's just, I just put my hands in and literally the, the fries felt like they had re, re-frozen. Yeah. And yeah. I was in a hurry. I should have put them back in and be like, you know what? I don't even want these. Because yeah. now I'm basically going to take your trash away for you. But because you can't, no, in an air fryer, you can reheat those fries. Yeah. But, but an, I don't in, carry in, an air fryer with me. Right. I wasn't in my RV. Ooh. I wasn't with uh, business idea, portable air fryer. There you go. Huh? Yeah. Can't see that going wrong. No, not at all. Should be fine. Set that on your lap while you're yeah, going should down. Should be the fine. <laughs> Plugged right in the cigarette lighter. <laughs> yeah. It's the flyer fryer. <laughs> the flyer fryer. Yeah. I like that. I like, hey, uh, copyrighted. Yeah. I just I just did that. Yeah. If you yeah. say copyright so, out well, loud. it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> Eric already has. Williamson already has the website. Yeah, he probably does. Dot org. Yeah. <laughs> Mac, do you have a uh, maybe an air fryer startup capital guy? Uh, no. Okay. All right. What if we do a virtual air fryer? <laughs> do you think you might? You might have. Uh, I I don't see. Imagine the point. that game. You're like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm pretending to put pizza rolls in the air fryer right now. <laughs> Kitchen simulator. <laughs> and then 2024. You, see the, yeah. you, you see that you see him taking it out and you're like, oh no, here it comes. Hot, yeah. hot, hot. You know, they start yelling. <laughs> it's like, that's a pizza roll. I, that just came out of the air fryer. <laughs> it's funny watching my family use their new virtual headset. Yeah? Yeah. They just have no concept of Oh, I can imagine. It's, you're, you're not, you can't, you're not, all right, whatever. No, I'm can not, you so, see the screen or do they, they have fall? it? Just they don't their, have it. We weren't casting, so I'm, okay. I'm just seeing them. Okay. Got you. But yeah, I can tell that I'm like we have a miniature golf game. Yeah. If you pull the trigger, it'll center you over the ball. Yeah. Dina can't seem to get in the head. She keeps trying to walk where the ball is. <laughs> <laughs> and the ball moves with you, right? Well, no, the problem is, is that there's a limited amount of space that the machine knows <laughs> that you have to work with. Like you map out where the open area is. <laughs> yeah. And so you can see her like, like she, she gets like, she's leaning over like the love seat or like, you know, trying to put one leg up to her, like, like as if there's an app, app, actual obstacle. I'm like, go to the center of the play space, pull the trigger. It'll move the field to you. <laughs> So instead of a sand trap, there's like couch trap. Right. <laughs> yeah, but there's Just a couple times. Through. There's a couple. I'm like, whoa! Cause she's like almost walked into the Christmas tree, and yeah. Well, but you pay attention and you tell her to stop. Yeah, yeah, but it's still it's entertaining. Oh, like, but I wait. I mean, I, I don't I don't immediately do it. I, is that like I, watching somebody walk into a spider web like 20 feet away from you? You're like, what's that guy doing? Yeah, you know? but, um, but <laughs> that's not gonna hurt someone. I'm letting him walk into the web. Yeah. <laughs> That'll teach you. Yeah. Get, get your face out of your phone, dear. Right. Hey, so back to our story that we digress from. <laughs> Uh, basically, so the, the guy that owns a place, um, he put out a cry for help, they call it, where he asked every owner of businesses in that area to stop using this company for a day just to see how bad it hit him in the wallet. And he said, well, I can afford to do it. Most places can't. So it, it does, when I, I read into this when you were talking, and it, it, it is basically exactly what you're saying. They can't afford to do this stuff on their own. Right. They're using a almost like the mafia yeah, party. They don't, they don't have infrastructure, mean? so they went out to <laughs> right. a loan shark and were like, hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you need to get that burrito at somebody's house? I got you, boo. I yeah. got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. But I, I need a cut. Yeah. I need you a can cut. charge a dollar delivery. You pay me $8. Wait a minute. <laughs> you can get that in reverse, sir. Right. Right. And every time they drop one, yeah. like I could, I'd be the worst guy. I'd be like, okay, every time they take a burrito to that guy's house, they got to bring one to mine. Okay. <laughs> That's how it works. Okay. You know, they can bring you cash. I, I want a burrito. <laughs> If they bring me cash, then I got to go pay for our own burrito. I would just cut out the middleman. Just bring me the burrito. <laughs> I get paid in NFTs, not form tacos. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, he didn't. He didn't get anybody on board for that. So it, it, it's oh, it's it's that is so weird that that's that's where yeah, they're, like they can. It, you're basically your strong arm. I mean, imagine if Uber Eats did that. Like, right. what are you looking at? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> they drop off your food. What? You got a, you got a, got an eye problem? What yeah. do you got? You know? And then they go back and they're like, cool. Uh, there's no questions asking because what if the driver that they have is just an idiot? Yeah. An a-hole. Or, hey, I'm going to go uh, take a dump break in the middle of this delivery and the food gets there too cold. And they're like, hey, yeah. so no the questions. One, the one thing I never thought of, okay? The whole time we were talking about the story, the guy delivered ice cream 
Okay. Yeah. I can't really deliver Sundays home. You, you know, the, there's a Culver's like, yeah. like a half mile from my house. Yeah. I have to Do go. Do they need your zip code? Yeah. <laughs> I live right there. <laughs> I swear to God. See that guy's house? <laughs> yeah. His yard touches my yard. Yeah. I can't hey, see your house. Though, six sir. more of these. You're going to see me out on that deck. Okay. <laughs> from here. But, but no, I said deck. So anyway, <laughs> um, it's the same thing. I can't get it home without it melting. Yeah. How could it possibly be, I, t- be too cold? Well, that's, I mean, I've seen people on social media be like, look, they, they, they do this as a side gig. They work for Uber Eats or whatever. Yeah. It's like, for the love of God, people, please stop ordering like slushies from 7 Eleven. Because 7 Eleven delivers now. Really? Yeah. Whole, and well, it's weird because I was at the one, there's one in uh, Oasis at uh, on the expressway, yeah. on the tollway. That's literally like, wh- who are you delivering to? You're literally in the middle of nowhere. The reason why you're here is because there's nothing else to get to. Yeah. <laughs> and in case people need a bathroom or gas or, you know, or, or a snack, this is why you're here. Right. You're going to go deliver like 40, 40 miles off of the... Uh, Right, off the beaten path. Yeah, I get that it's just marketing for every 7-Eleven, but they could probably be like, you know, you guys don't need the new signs. You're fine. <laughs> no one's going the Oasis uh, 7-Eleven for that hot dog that's been there since 1981. Well, what if, what if you're stuck at the toll booth? Yeah. Because you dropped your nickel. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. You're like, hey, I need that. Yeah. And hey, while you're up there, can you bring me a hot dog and five pennies from the take a penny, leave a penny cup? No, and, and, and I'm not, hey, listen, I you work and you're making money, that's cool. But- even regular Uber drivers that I've seen, uh, I got to assume those are the same type of people that do Uber Eats. I don't know that I want to make them eat my slushy. You know what I'm saying? I, oh, that's I, true. Because they did. Well, I, mm-hmm. I think that the, I don't know how that works. The place there. makes it and then hands it to them. Because I mean, if they're. Yeah. Because usually when you get that, it's a sealed bag. Like, yeah. Even if it's just folded over and stapled. But, yeah. yeah. Hey, I, I got buddies that I go where there's fountain pop. They're like, you want to refill? I'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Hey, we came here in the same car. Right. I'll still get that. Right. Okay. I'm just telling you right now. So I don't really want, you know, some or, some punk showing up at my door and be like, here, I got your is, yeah. is that is now is that a booger on your finger? Or is that like they dig in <laughs> to grab their fries and like, yeah, yep, everything's in your bag now. That's yours. <laughs> that was a power move, my friend. A smart move. <laughs> hey, there's no extra fries in the bag because I ate them on the way here. Okay. I just want to be honest yeah. with you. There, there are no bonus fries. Don't look for fry bag. Don't look for, for bonus bag fries. fries. Yeah, right. they're not yeah. there. They're not there. So I have one more. I didn't read this one because I was going to read this regardless. All right. New Zealand's official wizard fired after two decades. All right. <laughs> okay. We were doing this one no matter what anybody yeah. said. <laughs> okay. Um, New Zealand suddenly became a little less magical place. That's the the headline. See here, there's plenty of weird jobs out there. Um, New Zealand had an official wizard. Emphasis on the word had. So Gandalf got a send off is what right. you're saying. <laughs> The Pacific Island country has told its state magi- state magician, thank you and good luck after 23 years of faithful service. How faithful you got to be to be a wizard. You know what sucks <laughs> is that here in Illinois, our state wizard would have been Wizzo. <laughs> it would have been. It would have been. <laughs> What's he doing? His duty, 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 yeah. duty, 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 duty. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't remember if he was on the show. I was on it. <laughs> so the Wizard of Z- New Zealand, Zoo Neeland. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Zoo Neeland. Yeah, Zoo Neeland. New country, everybody. Also sometimes called... Um, Ian Brackenberry Chanel signed a contract. Was well, that his magician name? No, that's a problem. <laughs> Dude, we don't want to say his name anymore. Hey, Can we know, just not renew? He's IBC. <laughs> <laughs> so Root Beer, yeah. Root Beer signed a contract with the city of Christ Church, Christ Church, I don't know, in 1998. Since then, he's cast spells and entertained both locals and tourists with an annual paycheck of $16,000. Okay. If I'm the wizard and I just got let go, I got to think that there's either a severance plan or some unemployment coming my way that might top that whole $16,000. Yeah. <laughs> um, but now the city council has decided the wizard services are no longer needed. When were they ever needed yeah, for yeah, 23 right. years? 23 years. Oh, well, you'd be great. Like, hey, I'm um, just, it's like the movie, you ever see the movie Dave where they bring in the guy that looks like the president? Yeah. yeah. And he brings in his friend to do the budgets and he's like, why are we spending this money? Everything's like they got that. And I was like, guys, what's this line item for wizardry? <laughs> We have a, like a, a lot of accounts we're paying this, but we're not getting any return of investment. What are we right. doing here? What is that? I was like, oh, well, that's Ian. <laughs> Who the hell is Ian? <laughs> that's Root Beer. Yeah, he's you, you got to meet him. He's good. He's good with both tourists and locals. <laughs> he just walks in and does the thumb trick. Do do do. He makes the noise. Yeah. It's like, do do do. Could you not do the do do do? Okay. <laughs> Where'd his thumb go? I told you. He's a wizard. He's good. <laughs> So, 
<laughs> so, <laughs> in quotes, <laughs> we'll finally get mad. Come so, in quotes, that. the council has met with the wizard and sent him a letter thanking him for his services over the past decades. Can you see him like going to that guy's house and going up a paper mache mountain in the back? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Syrian. We've come to speak to you about your employment. Your lightning is silly string. We're on to you, dude. We're on to you. <laughs> I cast a spell. Damn it, who's going to clean up the silly string? It's stuck to everything. No, this is a little piece of it. I don't know if that was in New Zealand, but in Australia, the Burger Kings there are called uh, Hungry Jacks, I think. So oh. he's just wearing a Hungry Jacks, like, crown and everything. He's not, it's like <laughs> it's a paper crown, like a bathrobe he stole from the from a hotel. I would laugh, though, and I, if the like the next night was like, I know we're going to lose that Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> uh, uh, convention we get every year here, right. but, uh, but that's a risk we're willing to take to save 16 grand, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope they make a sequel to that Fred Savage movie, The Wizard 2. <laughs> Ian's Revenge. <laughs> Unemployment. <laughs> Retirement. <laughs> the Wizard 2. <laughs> the later years. <laughs> He's just on a beach, occasionally shoots a dolphin with his, with his finger. Bam! <laughs> Wait, are you Emerald? What are you doing out here? <laughs> um... So it says, uh, they let the wizard go because he doesn't fit the city's new marketing direction. <laughs> so, yeah, we're not, we're not in the 1700s anymore. <laughs> so we still have a castle, but we got rid of the wizard. Yeah. Okay. Not all so you, much make-believe. We're actually here. Come visit us. All you people that weren't coming here because of the spells being cast when you got <laughs> off the boat, we got rid of him. He's gone. It's, this is a safe place. Come here. You know, but because it's New Zealand and they're behind the times in 20 years, they're going to be like, oh, wizards are in. We should have kept him. <laughs> so McClelland said the decision to fire the wizard was a difficult one, but also added that the promotional landscape is changing. <laughs> they have a new and different promotional program that will uh, increasingly reflect our diverse communities. Okay. First off, if a wizard doesn't reflect yeah. something, <laughs> right. Okay. Think... I'm just thinking of, of people, and I'm not making fun. You go to Comic-Con, you go to this, you go to that. Imagine if you're like, I want to go to a vacation destination. This place has a wizard. <laughs> it has a wizard. Ha they have their own wizard. Uh, well, they have a very lowly paid wizard. Yeah. He's on the payroll. Right. You know what? Please tip your wizard. Yeah. <laughs> okay, please. Please. He needs to eat this week. Please. Yeah. Hey, everybody. I'll be here all week. Don't forget to tip your wizard and your waitresses. <laughs> Remember, remember when we remember, remember try the fish. Remember when we signed your contract and it was it was locked in with no pay advancements <laughs> yeah. for twenty three years because yeah. we paid you at the high end of the scale <laughs> right. twenty three years yeah. ago. <laughs> you know, I don't know what a what a going wizard gets nowadays. <laughs> how do you how do you go on like uh, Google? Right. Yeah, how and do you look for yeah, LinkedIn and be like, okay, <laughs> what is the mean? <laughs> what is the mean, mean price for a, what's the median average salary for a wizard? You find out he saved all of that money for 23 years yeah. and he bought a Merlin's yeah. muffler shop. I was getting, I was just going to say, like, did they compare him to the Merlin's guys? Did the geek squad get in on that somewhere? Right. Like, right. Who, like who do they fall? What, what union does he fall under? <laughs> he, he might be a medium. Yeah, because, there you go. You know, I don't know. Well, he, no, he didn't see this coming. So you're he's definitely gonna, not a medium. You're going to find him like... <laughs> Later on, like he ripped out the inside of a Zoltar machine and now he just sits in it. <laughs> you want to be big, do you? Did, do you? So did I. Yeah. But for 16 grand a year, how big can you freaking yeah. get, dude? <laughs> yeah. I noticed you put one quarter in. You're going to put a need to put a lot more in. <laughs> Please tip your wizard. <laughs> yeah, that's everything every card he comes out with. <laughs> Please tip your wizard. <laughs> you could just see the cops like every other week. They're like, okay, somebody got mugged by the Zoltar machine again. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we said, don't take your money out in front of this whole time machine. Walk up with it in your hand, okay? Don't don't show him what you got. Knowing this wizard, though, he's too dumb and didn't take the glass out. So he just passes out in the heat inside his whole It's like a machine. bad mime thing. Yeah. He's cleaning the glass. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, he's like, doot, doot, doot. <laughs> he's doing the noise. He's doing the thaw. <laughs> Yeah, he just covers just enough of a hole in the, in the mist so you can see his thumb. So <laughs> the wizard said he also enjoyed teasing women about being devious and using cunning to uh, well, using their cunning to get men who are who are the trick. So, so it he, looks like he offended. Right, he offended. Um, <clears throat> he says, "I love women. I for I forgive them all the time. I never struck. Whoa. Hey." 
This is a quote. I never struck one yet. That's the last word. <laughs> okay, so the wizard is fired for threats yeah. of violence. Are we sure he's not one of the, uh, <laughs> one of the wizards from our south? If you know what I mean. <laughs> Like he's not a he's not a great wizard, but more of Wait, a just an I, a B, and a C on that. Is that really yeah. what it is? Yeah. Okay, just checking. Yeah, he's not a great wizard. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's like something else wizard. But basically, in closing, he said, "They'll have to kill me to stop me. I will do this job for free." Okay, you lost all your bargaining <laughs> right. right here. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, Oops. you had the upper hand based on a government budget. <laughs> doing it for sixteen thousand basically was doing it for free. I got to be honest with you. You already, yeah, you already, this was charity. You should have yeah. been writing this off yeah. every year. You get your pay. What are you doing? Red Cross. <laughs> Red Cross. I'm writing this off. <laughs> I'm offending women and, <laughs> and restraining from hitting them. To use the word yet. Yeah. I've never struck a woman yeah. yet. I've never murdered anyone yet. <laughs> <laughs> never say never. That's my motto as a wizard. Yeah. Never say never. <laughs> <laughs> pay raise? Never say never. Well, you kind of did. Okay. It is what it is. I have for, he forgives them. <laughs> He forgives them. Wow. Says he'll keep appearing at public events despite all, um, despite all that's going on. Um, I give children happy dreams, general good health, and I want to make the bureaucrats become more human. The wizard said. Okay, first off, don't be talking yeah. about giving kids dreams. Right. What are you, Fred, Freddy Krueger? Uh, what are you doing? All they need to do is paint a castle and a cauldron on the padded walls. <laughs> Throw that guy in there. Put him in prison. Yeah. And just make sure his self points to the outside wall. And you can still, now you make 16 grand a year on the attraction. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and then you got a line. What's that? That's the woman striking line. Don't cross that <laughs> because he hasn't done it yet. Okay. We don't know. We don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> Son, would you like to step up and get a good dream? <laughs> Where can they find us, Ted? <laughs> They can find us at thatchecksout.net. They can find us at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in New Zealand. They can find us at thatchecksout.net. All the socials, that checks out WDT. WDT stands for with Damon and Ted. I'm Ted, and he's Damon. I'm Damon. Yeah, we're waiting on that. Coming to you from Audio High Podcasting Studio in beautiful Joliet, actually Crest Hill, Illinois. Say goodbye, Mac. This is Crest Hill. <laughs> it's, it's Juliet. It's close enough. It's, cl it's close. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Priceless. Wait, Wait what? what? No prob hammers. I probably don't have the updated don't one. Shitty head work in there. Yeah, don't. I was going to say, I think it's because all I had was the shitty have mercy. Well, it's not all you had. Like that's, that's the one you took. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, let's rephrase that. The yeah, possibility. That's the only one you had on the board. That's not the options you it had. There was like a one in nine chance that you wouldn't take the shittiest one on there. And, and you know what? We should have bet the under. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's on us. Yeah. We've, we've met Brian. Yeah. We know better. <laughs> YouTube opened Hi, that one. I'm Earth. Have we met? <laughs> <laughs> I'm no new. time is a good time for cold fries. Yeah, it's it's really not. Yeah, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sarah, real quick, real quick. <laughs> when <laughs> when is the ideal time <laughs> for cold fries? <laughs> Why did that be so funny? We're just sitting here being stupid. That's, That's gonna make an extra probably. Yeah. <laughs> Max, like I've not recorded. Have mercy. That one. That one. Number, Number five. five. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not so great minds think alike. <laughs> Number five. <laughs> you know, all of them lead to heads in the in the crawl space. <laughs> in the crawl space. <laughs> in the and crawl a space. <laughs> And a mama cries in a crawl space. Yes, yeah, pretty much. In a crawl space. <laughs> What's she doing down there? I don't know. I, I don't know. Where's your wife? Crawl space. <laughs> you, you know, he tells people. He's, that sounds That's terrible. That's still like, it's <laughs> dirty. <laughs> he tells people that.
to this day. Does he really? I, well, I don't know if he does or not, but you know he has to. Like, yeah. Oh, he has yeah. to be like, yeah, I was at a comedy show in, in Chicago, and I asked a guy where his wife was, and he immediately just said crawl space without a... Yeah. Hey, without I didn't... A, without a hesitation. He's, he probably tells people that, and he's like, I always wonder if I should have told the authorities. Because <laughs> there was, like, absolutely no... Yeah, crawl space. What's yeah. she doing there? I don't know. 